Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, we are still looking at what you call the Metrash tool, and we are looking at the services, the new six services that have been added to Metrash tool. This comes as uh, this comes uh, immediately after uh, the Millpool exhibition co uh, convention that was held in BCC here in Qatar, where the Homeland Security and the Civil Service Defense in introduced new digitalized forms of uh, accessing services here in Qatar. And remember, when we say these services are going to be accessed by both the citizens and the residents in Qatar in what we call a digital world. So when we go back to Metra, you remember, as one of the aim of introducing such kind of services in a digitalized forms is uh, one of the transformation or a digital transformation that is um, a part of Qatar's target in 2030 as per the government reports they have around. So in one of these services we introduced, uh, um, uh, they introduced new services that we are added to what we call the metrash system. For those people that have the metrash access or for those people that are accessing what we call the metrash, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, right now we are going to have what we call a digital wallet and it's going to contain your driving license, it's going to contain your digital li driving license, it's going to contain your digital ID, it's going to contain your digital um, uh, plate registration number, all in what we call a digital form and remember one of the aim of this having in being put in what we call a digital form is just to enable the accessibility of all authorities in Qatar to access the information and figure out uh, the facial the facial recognition of the person who is holding those documents remember in the other video we talked about what we call search and follow up of dependents where we talked about uh, where your employee or your employer can use the metrash system just by the fingerprints to search for you in today's video we are going to yet to look at another application remember still something that i need to let you know is that some of these applications or some of these applications that are being introduced or some of these new services being introduced in metrash too for those that people have that in metrash these services have been originally being handled by what we call the uh, Department of Affairs, the Directorates of Expert Affairs Expertise Department that has been holding that services. Where I needed to submit papers and submit, you go there in person to submit these queries for these services. However, now for the digital transformation that is around, these services are being added part of the metrash that you can use easily access you can easily uh, request or you can easily put in even the request or put in whatever document that may be submitted to you at whatever at your fingerprints and this is what exactly that is happening in one way or the other so in today's video we are going yet to see another another service and uh, that has been introduced and remember we want to go through all these services such that you can clearly understand what it's all about and what are these services. And this today's service, we are going to look at what we call the residence that regards the residence services. This is a new system. This is a new service that has been added to uh, what we call the metrash tool. And when we are talking about the residence services, under these residence services, we shall talk about the residence permit, we shall talk about the residence renewal, we shall talk about the passport uh, transformation of information from one passport to another, we shall talk about passport cancellation, then we shall also talk about uh, 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 overstays and fines that have to be paid under this same same system or this same uh, app that was added. And one of them is application of renewal of what you call residence permit, Remember, before you only had to apply directly to the Director of Affairs Department to renew a passport, you would go there in person. And normally, when you look at some companies, it was normally the P, uh, PROs of the companies supposed to submit those, those documents required in what you call paper form uh, in, uh, in person to those companies. But however, for right now, that service is being added on what you call Metra. So you can, what you can do, you can renew. You can, uh, your company or your employer can renew your, your permit directly using the mobile phone on what you call the Metra too. That is a service that is being added. Then we also look at another service that is what we call application for change of details, for change of passport details. is also another application or is another is something that was originally added, originally added under what we call the residence 
services because remember this also this category used to be handled by the department of affairs the affairs department a uh, directorate where you needed to submit your information and uh, required documents for you to get approval for that and that is what used to be done but right now you can still access the same service under what we call the metrash 2 another one is what we call application for issuing or receiving or what we call renewing residence permit under what you call expiry passports let's say for example for those people like for example we talk about people in africa even other people in asia where they are changing to what you call electronic passports so for you to convert your visa or convert your details from the original the old passports into the new passports uh, which are electronic in any form from wherever you are coming from it used to be done in what you call manually. You would just submit all those documents to the departments of the Directorate of Affairs Department uh, where you would submit the papers and the required documents for that information to be changed. But right now, as we're looking at the digitalized form of, uh, of application that has been added to Metrash, you can still apply that one digitally on the Metrash system, uh, provided you attach all the required documents and approval will be done immediately without hesitation. Then also we look at another one, what you call application of cancellation of residence permit, where you need to cancel your residence permit or where an employee needs to cancel or where an employer needs to cancel your residence permit or still, uh, for example, uh, an example whereby you need uh, to cancel out your vehicle ownership or what you call, you can say, employing a group of people or employing a new employees or employing someone from another company or even hosting or what you call exporting uh, your vehicle or any form. That one originally it was being filled out and you already had to do it with it. Uh, to, you had to go to the director of the affairs department where you needed to do that. You submit the required documents. Uh, uh, you, you will take in for approval, then they will approve after reviewing your documents. But right now, you can do still do that on what you call Metrash 2 because it's one of the uh, services that has been added and it's under what you call the residence visas, uh, the residence services where you can still access that service that you only have to submit the required documents that are being told to, to submit, then they will be reviewed, then the approval will be done in one way or the other. Then still under the same service, we are looking at another service that's still under what we call the resident services. Uh, we look at violations where you need to pay for up for violations, where you need to, to need to pay up for overstays, you need to pay for any form of violation that is being given to traffic violations under that, under the department. Remember, uh, before it was, you had to submit still all the papers to the expatriate affairs department, which was responsible for that for, for that role. But right now is that to in order to ease the queues of the line and the time being wasted from moving one place to another, the service was introduced under what we call the Metro H2, and you can still access it under the Metro H2 at that form to access the service. Then we also look at what we call tracking application of what we call your track application services where you can track your driving license being issued, you can track your, um, your, your cut ID, you can also track on the same screen, you can track whatever kind of information under the residence, uh, under, the residence under what we call metrash to. So that's also another service uh, under, uh, out of the six services that was introduced uh, which is quite uh, very important in one or the other. So I uh, hope I've tried to share something for when you go to that metrash and you go under what you call the resident service you definitely see all those uh, subdivided subdivided uh, services that are under what you call the resident service that you can apply them on or you can try to take a benefit of them thank you so much see you again in the next video is makes from the next question by the way if it's your first time come across this channel please consider subscribing and supporting this channel by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell because it is always very important it will to be always very important to update whatever we upload in the video. Thank you so much. See you again. It's Max from the Max Creation.